Well, hello everyone. Uh, we're back for another uh, Warby's beer review here. Uh, tonight we have something that is rather special. Remember, I once reviewed um, Baltica's um, uh, number three lager a few years ago. This time we have Baltica Brew Collection's Russian Imperial Stout. Now, as you probably know if you're a beer connoisseur, uh, Russian Imperial Stouts were so named because they were originally um, developed in the 18th century for Tsarista Catherine the Great by the, um, by the British for her imperial courts. It was essentially um, an Irish stout that had extra um, uh, hops and alcohols to make the journey to Russia from England. Uh, but it eventually became so popular there that um, companies like Baltica and Afanasi and um, insert whatever name you want uh, started brewing them in Russia. So that's a little backstory behind them. This one comes in at 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, it comes to you from Baltica Breweries in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, but it's Baltica is owned by the Carlsberg Group in Denmark. So, going to what it says on the bottle here, it says that uh, this is our modern pursual of the authentic historical style. It absorbed the 19th century atmosphere. Did I say 18th century? Well, whatever. Um, 19th century atmosphere of St. Petersburg porterhouses, smell of London casks traveling through Baltic Sea, and a supercon of uh, American craft accent. Phenomenal rich and dense, with unforgettable vinous uh, tones, it rocked Imperial City already, now it starts kicking around the world. And you see here it gets one point out of five for bitterness. I'm sorry, for sweetness. Uh, all five for bit bitterness and likewise for color. And there's a picture of Yuri Katunin, the Baltica brew of St. Petersburg brewmaster. Okay. So let's uh, get right to us. I'm going to have to set the camera down. Uh so that I can open this. And there's the uh, bottle cap right there. Ah. It's the same as this. Uh... Ooh, smells good already. It's just the same as this uh, design on the bottle here. Let's give it a pour. Oh, it's very pretty. You see that? You see both brown and red coming through the stream. I'm loving it so far. Ooh, look at it. Look at it settle there. It's like a Guinness would be. It's just, uh,. Watch that settle for a minute. You can already smell it from here, you know, the, uh, some, maybe vanilla and gingerbread notes. And, uh, anything like that so pour a little more in and you can enjoy a little bit more of the streams um, and 
And as you see, as I said, I'm using my uh, Goose Island uh, uh, Nonic Pint Glass. That's what this bulge is called, just in case anyone wants the terminology. Okay, so going to the appearance, it's uh, lots of bubbles in that. It's very frothy yet bubbly head. And uh, it's kind of a, a dark, almost a little bit, you can see tinges of caramel mocha. It's very lovely. It's uh looks almost black, but if I see it, lights a little bit poor in here, but uh you can see right around uh here where my finger is, uh you can see that a slight reddish tinge, reddish purplish tinge right there. It's uh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so Putting that there, I'll let you see that while we check out the aroma of this. Hmm. Sweet bread up front. That's the first thing you smell. Then you go right into that, uh, Well, 10% alcohol, you smell a little bit of that. Along with gingerbread and vanilla and very inviting smell. So, uh, Just by smelling it and looking at it, you know that it's going to be good without, uh, without even tasting it. Man. Chocolate's coming through. Maybe a little bit of bourbon, although this, although this is not, uh, finished in uh, bourbon cask staves. Some of these Imperial Stouts do have that. This one doesn't. But yeah, it's... And as you see, as the head goes down, it's already beginning to lace on there very well. Let's see how much more we can pour out, and maybe you can enjoy some more of the stream here. Regenerate the head a little bit too. I know, call me obsessed with the head, but it's great looking, isn't it? Almost looks like a where the stream went in here. It looks almost almost looks like a Sunday or ice cream, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, let's go to the taste now. Mm. Wow. You know, first you're picking up a little bit of that coffee or roasted malt in this. The bourbon notes go away for this. Well, at first...
it's um, and it and it finishes very dry. And in the back of the mouth, you get that um, lingering hop flavor. Very complex beer. Certainly a good um, certainly a good winter beer, but I and it I mean the no alcohol comes through on the finish. It's coming in for ten percent. So uh I dare say this isn't as well rounded as um, as the Guinness Antwerp and Stout that I just reviewed. If you just saw that, but <clears throat> excuse me, but still mighty good. And it doesn't it doesn't quite refresh as well as. Antwerp and Stout does. So that knocks it down about a quarter of a point, but excuse me. And again, not to be gross, but the burp isn't quite as complex as that. So maybe if this was bourbon cask aged like say the Goose Island Stout that I've had uh, was um, maybe this would get a perfect rating but uh, but still as it is I think I'm gonna have to go 4.75 out of 5 for Baltica Brew Collections Russian Imperial Stout I'll talk to you later cheers